What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I wanted one of these for a long time. Finally picked one up. It's by Seek Thermal. It's the XR Extra Range Thermal Imaging Camera. And this one is for the iPhone. They do make it with a um, connector that plugs into your iPhone. And it's basically, a, you know, the infrared camera, kind of the heat camera. They also make it for Android, so you can get it with a micro USB plug, as you can see here. Uh, what it has is a, a little housing here with a with a camera, obviously the XR, they also have a standard one. I think this is for focusing, it, I was kind of, I've been playing around with this, trying to learn about it. And so you, this this moves, you've got a lightning connector right here, it says the Seek Thermal. You can actually plug it in, whoops, either direction, uh, forward or backwards really. Um, I'm not sure exactly why you'd want to do that, but it. But the, the cool thing about it is when you have your screen facing you and you have this plugged in with the camera facing away, the great thing about it is, it, you know, you're looking at the screen where the camera's pointed. It's really nice. Uh, they also have a handheld, a fully self-contained one that you kind of hold like this and the camera's that way. So you're actually kind of looking down when the camera's looking out. I'm sure you could get used to that too, but there's something kind of brilliant about having the screen facing you and it's almost like looking through a window, right? Now, it also comes with this thing, and it's a little case, I believe, for kind of protecting it. You see it's like a trans smoked transparent carbonate, polycarbonate material, and then this flips up, and then you have this little hard case. So it looks like a little key ring in here, uh, and then it go, I guess it goes in like that. Um, so pretty cool, a little opening there. You can put a lanyard so you can take it around without having to worry about it getting dirty or wet those types of things um, and obviously it gives you kind of predator like thermal vision which is pretty cool because as opposed to night vision which I really love I love being able to have that you know advantage in the night but the, the really cool thing about this is you kind of can't hide from it now obviously you're not going to get the same type of resolution that you would say in you know a, a good latest generation night vision camera right but what it does do is it really picks out you know hot items now it is winter here so the irony is if there's a bunny on the snow it's probably going to stand out like crazy if everything is 90 degrees outside it's probably going to be really hard to notice things but now i've tried it around even in warm rooms where it's 70 plus degrees you can obviously pick out bodies you can pick out hand I'm, i actually can put my hand on a cold glass and remove it and that handprint will stay there so let's just go ahead and uh, start taking a look at it another thing i will mention here is that I, i've noticed that it tries to autofocus or something so this device makes a little bit of a click 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 sometimes uh it's not super annoying or anything but it's it's kind of like actively doing some things here so um i'll probably figure out more about it but like i said this little rubberized housing here kind of turns too so i think you make some adjustments there uh there also is an app so you have to download that in in order for it to work when you plug it in it will actually tell you to uh download it right so it'll kind of pop it'll detect that you don't have it and pop up a pop-up that says do you want to download it so let's go ahead i want to shoot some video with it and uh show it so to you now it is winter but uh it's obviously not snowing at the moment but it is below freezing so it's pretty cool out here i just kind of wanted to pan the yard here for you so that you know what we're seeing and then i will do the same pan using the seek thermal lens so i've adjusted the uh lens screwed it in so that I'm kind of getting the best focus. One of the things that you'll notice is it's um, kind of a much larger, you know, more zoomed in look than it is uh, with the normal camera. So you can see right there, if I stop, the big white is the sun that you just saw in the other shot. And then you can kind of see the trees being made out in the green outline and then the ground below them obviously it must be quite a bit warmer um, there's also this the tree trunk right here which we're seeing in the green to red and then kind of uh, behind the tree there you can see that shed which is green and is probably being heated up by the Sun at least which is why it's showing a little warmer now I do want to just kind of pan out here to the outside front here and we'll see if I can get my hand in the in the shot and you can just see how my hand sticks out again very cold out here so you know, this is a high contrast situation. If this were a summer day, you know, I, I'm not even sure if we could see my hand. 
One of the other things that's kind of cool, I think, is I'm looking at a glass window. I'm actually outside looking at it. I'm just going to take my hand here, and I'm going to press it up against the glass window for a second. Ooh, that glass is cold. And I'm just going to remove my hand, and as you can see, what we'd expect is we can see a little bit of that residual heat uh, from my hand on the glass itself. Pretty cool. All right, I'm inside the house, and I turned some things on here. I actually turned on that TV. It's powered up. And I uh, wanted to show you kind of a little bit of a pan of this room. You know, obviously one of the things that we'll see here is the TV as well as these window blinds and how they kind of come across with the thermal imaging. All right, so you can see here how kind of much more zoomed in that this thermal camera is. And you can see the TV. I, I'm, I'm not playing it at the moment, but you can see how much redder it is. Um, it's kind of interesting how it adjusts. Uh, how it's reading things and intercepting that heat signature as I point my finger in front of things. But you can see how much hotter it is and then even the cable box which is directly underneath of it. And then even um, on the side there, right centered there is my wireless router. So you can see how much warmer those are than the rest of the room. And uh, the sliding glass door right next to it, obviously in blue, very cold, as well as the window on the other side of the TV you can see there the contrast with those uh, window shutters being much warmer inside than the kind of the blue glass that's being, um, you know, shown here in blue and green, much cooler because of the outside temperature. Even the chairs below that window obviously look quite a bit warmer. So, um, you know, obviously pretty easy to see there. Pretty cool. I definitely like it. I think it's uh, an interesting thing looking for hot spots. You know, if you were to have bad wiring or something like that, you were trying to keep an eye on animals in the yard, uh, especially if it's dark and it's cool out there, you should be able to see, you know, the, the heat signature of critters or people. So it's kind of a security thing as opposed to night vision, which is just trying to illuminate things with ambient light to kind of make it more like a daylight situation. But this can help you kind of pull out and identify some hot spots and some heat signatures that other devices wouldn't be able to use. The other thing I'm most impressed with this is that at about $150 for this device, uh, it is much more affordable than some of the other devices which have been really, really expensive. You know, the handheld uh, forward-looking infrared and, and heat sensing devices can be hundreds of dollars up to thousands of dollars. So really never anything kind of friendly to the budget for most of the consumers. So pretty impressed with it. I will put a link to it in the description. If you want to pick one up, definitely kind of a fun little toy. Peter Von Panda, out.